What's up guys, Ants Canada here. Welcome to another Ant video um, on our channel at the Ants Canada Ant channel on YouTube. What are we called on YouTube? I don't know. I think we used to be called the Amazing Ants of Ants Canada, but now we're just kind of like the Ants Canada Ant channel. Sorry for this late video. I'm actually almost a week behind. We usually promise to upload every Monday, first and third Monday of the month, but I wanted to delay this video upload because I'm here in Toronto again. Um, and I just arrived last Thursday. Um, happy Father's Day to all of you guys out there. And um, it's great to be back. You know, here in North America, you guys are experiencing great summer weather now I'm only gonna be here for a few days but I didn't want to leave without filming a video for you guys here also I apologize about the audio because this here is a new webcam I left my usual webcam in Manila so the audio is kind of strange and so I wanted to do a video on how I go around looking for Queen Ants now that I am back what you'll need of course are some containers to catch the Queens and contain them um, before moving them into your test tube setups. Um, and of course, you'll also need some proper eyewear if you don't have 2020 vision. Um, how can you catch a queens if you don't see properly? So I'm gonna clean my glasses. And we are ready to go. So here we go. Now, I live in the suburbs here in Toronto. Um, and I find it m much easier to find queens if you live in the suburbs or in a wooded area or like a rural area if you live in a downtown type of setting where you know it's really really downtown it might be hard to find queens not because they're less common or not so numerous but because there's so much distraction i mean if you're downtown, there's so much going on, it's easy for these queens to be elusive and hide from you. But in a more calm setting, like say this neighborhood, um, it's easier to spot some queens. And I like to go in places that have a lot of um, cement, like here, see? There's a lot of pavement. I see an ant there. What is that? Okay, that's a worker. Um, yeah, see, there's a lot of pavement here. So it's easier for me to spot queens um, that are wandering around in the open. The DL8s. Now, there is pretty much um, a wooded area near here, near this neighborhood. And there's even a river. And I find wooded areas and rivers are great for, um, you know, looking for queen ants. Parks and that sort of thing. Those are all great places to look for queens. So I'm just going to go ahead and walk down this sidewalk. Now, it also helps to know what ants are flying in your area. It's now June the 22nd, so I believe Tetramorium species E are flying now. And Camponotus may still be flying. Now, I think I see. I've got to keep my eyes on the ground. For any queens. I see some workers, but I don't see any queens yet. You really just gotta be lucky. But if you really dedicate an hour or two every day to go looking, you'll find one just like here. I found one, and it is a tetramorium. Sweet. Tetramorium species E. Okay, so. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to block her. Wait. All right. Perfect. See, 
when people write to me saying they can't find any queens, I tell them just keep looking. They are literally everywhere. I bet people think I'm crazy here on my hands and knees. On the sidewalk. Indeed, I do look crazy. But it's worth it. All right, and there you have it, guys. So we caught our queen, and I didn't have any test tubes lying around because I've shipped them all to Manila. Um, and I had to look around my parents' place for something to put this queen that we caught together. Um, and so I used this, it's a super glue container. Uh, it's the best thing I could find. So I created a test tube setup for her. Uh, be sure to check out our test tube setup uh, tutorial, which we released recently, which was our last video. For me, the test tube setup is the best setup for rearing your standard colony, whether it be a semi-claustral species or a fully claustral species like the Tetramorium queen we caught. And keep them in the dark, keep them warm. I do not place this queen anywhere in the basement or in any of the rooms that have air conditioning. What I do is I place them in a garage or in an unheated room in my home. Um, and there, they're just kept alone in the dark. I don't touch them. Um, and in about a month, she should have some workers. And be sure to move them when they have a big workforce already, you know, even up to 50 workers. That's when you can move them. So thanks guys for watching this video. Really means a lot to me. Be sure to subscribe if you like this video. And until next time, see you later. Ants Canada signing out. Good luck on all your anting, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks guys for watching. Wishing you guys luck this year on your nuptial flights. Hope you guys catch lots of queens. Now, if you want to check out more videos on this channel, be sure to check out our latest video on our brand new line of genus tailored hybrid nests. Really cool formicariums for your ants that are specifically geared to house your species of ants, whatever they may be. And also check out our very cool Solenopsis Geminata playlist. It's ant love forever, guys. Thanks. And don't forget to subscribe.